Welcome back, everybody, to Drone 608 Plays. We're playing Pathfinder Kingmaker. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notify button. You'll be notified when I upload other videos and or schedule out streams. Um, this is basically our first day in the kingdom. Uh, last time we got a tour of the kingdom, and uh, Sir Chandra Murphy kind of gave us some ideas of what we needed to do. Um, one thing I did notice... Uh, Tristan is now with us. You can see here, we now have Tristan. So I was going to level him up real quick. Um, I'm just going to have him go straight down the cleric path. Um, he gets one skill point here. Uh, we can make his wisdom go up to 18 or his strength up to 10. And I'm thinking I want to get his wisdom up because that gives him extra pluses here. His intelligence isn't going to help him much with the whole Arcania world, Arc knowledge Arcanian world, but this would help him with his religion. So I think we're just going to go ahead and put him there and we'll just deal with him not having very much strength. Maybe we can find another strength belt and put it on him like I did on Lindsay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, as far as his four points go, uh, well, these are class things, so we're going to splash a point in each, so he has at least a die roll. Um, I think I want to have him have really good religion, and we're going to, I'll go ahead and up his perception for now. And move on. Doesn't get any new abilities. He can cast five first level and four second levels, which isn't bad. One thing about him is this, with this kind of thing, they don't let him wear like any kind of armor, so he's going to be very squishy. I don't know how much I'm going to travel with him, but we'll see. So it's done there. He can go up another level, because he basically gets to be our level, which is fifth. Um, so we're going to get four more points here. Um, this time... what to do here. I always like to have somebody have the chance to roll a 20 on trickery, so I just go ahead and use one there. And then the other three I'm going to put in his religion. Maybe his world and his uh, perception, because perception is important to be able to see things, right? Okay, what well goes on here? Oh, he gets a feat. <clears throat> so he's... Uh, I'm thinking... What does he have? So he has extra channel. Meta magic extend spell. He can make his spells last twice as long. But if he does that, it's a one level higher spell. So if I want him to have something that lasts a really long time, I have to make it a higher level spell. Um, I did pick up a bonded holy symbol at third level, I guess. Channel. He is proficient with the club, dagger, heavy crossbow, light crossbow, quarterstaff. Favorite weapon of his deity, which is, seems to be a scimitar. And got clerical domains, yes. So he's... Good domain and healing domain. Uh, I don't think I need to have him take another extra channel here. I'm wondering if I should go with... Since he doesn't have any armor class, maybe go with toughness so he has more hit points. We could go with throw anything. Uh, but he doesn't have... What's his stats? His dex is only a 12. His con is only a 12. Yeah, maybe we go with toughness. Um, we're not going to get... What's this? 
So his healing spells at next level will go up all by themselves, so I don't need to take that. Toughness gives him extra hit points. So you get three, four, five, six, seven more hit points. Which might be important. Right now he's at 38. If I got seven more, he'd be at 45 hit points. Which might be important. I could also skill focus him. Is he out of skill focus already? He doesn't have any skill focuses yet. Uh... Weapon focus seems just like a waste. I don't see him getting into a lot of combat since he doesn't have any armor. Um, I'm not really sure here, but I'm thinking that toughness might be the thing to go. Normally, I think I would just take extra channel so he can channel energy... He's already got one of these, so he can do it two more than normal. Which channel energy go off at? Uh, where is this his? Charisma. Ten plus half his level, so be twelve. I don't know. Uh, how many times does he get to do this? Times per day equal to three plus their charisma modifier. So he's got three, four, five, plus his charisma modifier, which I think is a two or a three. So he's up to about eight. Uh, boy, extra channel would be nice, but I think I need to give him some hit points. So we're going to take him out on the road. He's going to need to be able to take a hit or two. Right? So we're going to go ahead and take toughness. Just gives him extra hit points. So now he's up to 43 hit points. So that's not bad. Uh, and he picked up some spells. Okay. Cool. I think he picked up third level spells there. Okay, so, yeah, so you can pass it up to three third level spells now. So let's just go up here. Um, we need to go back in there. We're going to do his spells real quick. Spell book. Tristan. So he's got fourth of tier. What are these first level spells? Well, I think I want remove fear. Yeah, I want remove fear more than shield of faith. Uh, this thing... Seal of Faith is one f person. Or I could take Burning Hands. What's Fairy Fire do? I'm going to level. All creatures within a five foot burst centered on target within long range. Darkness, blur, displacement, invisibility, or similar effects. That might be helpful if I want to try and take on those rats. Good fairy fire. Burning hands is a cone. He's not going to be in the front to use that. Uh, remove sickness. One friendly creature, one friendly creature, one friendly creature. All creatures in a 15-foot cone, so if somebody attacks from the back and he's there, you could do this. It's 1d4 points of fire damage per caster level. He's going to be 5th level, so he's going to do 5d4. Well, not bad. He's got a couple of blesses. Two blesses, two remove fears. Uh, burning hands or fairy fire? Because those are area of effect kind of things. Burning Hands deals damage. Fairy Fire helps us see things. We'll start off by taking Burning Hands. Uh, we get here. We've got protection from evil communal. So everybody within 30 feet gets protection from evil. I've got a protection from alignment. And I've got a hold person. Uh, maybe a summon monster too. Can I cure blindness? 
There's no cure blindness in here. Ooh, I see invisibility. Maybe that might be better. Then he'd at least be able to see within his range of vision. Maybe that's going to be important. We'll take that instead of the communal. I think I can actually put that. Yes, that's what we'll do. There's some buffs. He does have a hold person. Might switch him out for something else. And his third level spells. Fireball. Tristan gets fireball. A cleric who can cast a fireball. Well, that's a no-brainer. That's a lovely thing. Long range and 20 foot burst, so yeah. Fireball. And delay poison communal. Yes, definitely. Um, resist energy communal. What does that do? 10 resist energy against an energy type chosen. Make him a big old buff machine. He's got a fireball and a couple of buff machine things. I think we'll have him go there. Yeah, we'll just go as a buff machine rather than a... All right, so that's... Um, that's him. Pretty good on the lore religion. Not bad on his perception and persuasion. Other stuff is just kind of like blah, but he's not in it to be those things. He doesn't carry a lot. He's got a blast scroll and uh, remove blindness. Do you have any weapons he can use? I don't have any weapons he can use. So we need to probably get him a better scimitar or something. Um, definitely want to get him a crossbow of some sort. All right, so we have to pick up some things at the market for Tristan to be useful. Definitely want to give him a crossbow so they can shoot even though he doesn't shoot that well. Because uh, I don't really want him getting in the... in the fight, so to speak. Uh, did I change my spells? Yeah, I take Hurricane Bow to make my bow better and Entangle to slow down enemies. I don't get second level spells. Parim. Bless, bless, fear, fear, target. What did I do here? So he had this, this, and this with Bone Shaker. <clears throat> and then he did something similar, but he takes to spell magic because it's the one thing he's got there. Alright, so my clerics are kind of buff machines. Karim can actually fight fairly well because he has a good armor class. Alright, that takes care of that nonsense. Um, so, first thing that we were told to do when we come into the Kingdom Affairs, even though I'm fatigued, was I was supposed to go into my advisors and assign people to jobs. So this is the region. Who can I pick? So as the region, I can take Octavia, who's a plus two, or Valerie, who's a plus three. Valerie follows, so uh, Octavia tries to solve problems peacefully. Well, I like the idea of having a plus three, so I guess I'll take Val. Dorian or Charlie's could last a month without loyal and reliable, it's time to appoint advisors. Uh, I can't abide it. I can't put anybody in here, because this is the high priest. Dorian is plus three. Harim's plus four. Unusual but effective. Solve problems without disrupting local traditions. Ah. Uh. I guess we'll go with Harim. Treasurer, I got nobody that I can put in treasurer. Wonderful. I have to go find a treasurer, I guess. Uh, General. Uh, Reggie's actually better. He's hot headed and direct, and she's just direct. So, hot headed and direct means that's the evil part for the hot headed and direct is the chaos, and she's chaos. Oh, man. The idea of Amiri being a general is hilarious to me. I'm not sure which way I should go. Um, I think it's based on their strength. Right, because he's a plus four with strength, she's plus three. 
guess I could give her a strength belt and that would make her a plus four. Oh, wow. Tough decisions here. Well, let's go. What's this? The counselor. Who can I put in the counselor? They're both plus fours. Chandra aims to make a profit while following the letter of the law. Make a profit is probably evil and lawful. Here's for people all over the uh, over all other concerns. That sounds like neutral good, which is what I am. I think he's neutral good. <coughs> well, we'll start off with Tristan. Then I have to decide on the general. Do we want to go with Amiri? Gengar, give me an extra plus one on the general things, but I'm not sure I would pick the solutions that he likes. Being chaotic evil and I'm neutral good. I mean, Amiri's going to be okay with some good choices, but she's going to want to have action choices all the time. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um... I suppose I can switch between jobs for them, right? Between them doing things. Let's start off with Reggie. I may go back to Amiri here. Okay, so now I've got four out of my five. I gotta go find this thing. All right, in events wise, I have one event. Don't know what to do with so this person what's called a celebrator. What exactly? Choose an advisor. What do I have to choose? So I could do the general, or I could do Harib. Okay. Both are plus six. So, uh, what is this? There's a 70% chance of getting a success, and what happens? Plus three on divine. Okay. Projects. I've got a bunch of projects. This looks like I need to have the treasurer to do that. And a treasurer, 1500 debts. I'm never going to have that kind of money, I don't think. Let's put the keys off. Of, what is this? This requires seven days. Now, if you remember, I looked in Lindsay's journal, and we only have like 30 days until. Um, The Bald Hill thingy is going to go off, so we're going to have to try and figure out where Bald Hill is and make sure that we can get to it easily. Uh, only one I can have do this is him. I have him doing event of the month. Hmm. All right, what else have we got? Pillage the temple. Uh, of course, Reggie. Rebuild the temple. Of course, that would be Harim. And then these two I can't do. So there's nothing I can do with most of my advisors. I can only really use three. So why don't we change this event? Let's do Reggie on that. We'll get plus three military instead of divine. And then uh, for the projects, let's go do this guy's thing. Him. Doesn't look like that one costs me anything. The event, that costs me doesn't seem to cost me anything. Um, so no other projects, because everything requires the high priest. Uh, what's regions tell me? Oh, claim the outskirts. What's this take? This one will cost me 150 build points. That's what that BP stands for. It requires 14 days to solve. Uh, if I start it, I remember something in the, in the instructions that... Um, you claim an, a region like this, that 14 days, it immediately like turns on the calendar and that's all you do for 14 days. So anything else that pops up, you're just stuck with not reacting to, which can be bad. But who would I have to use here? I could use Valerie or Tristan. Who do I need to have about? Who do I have to have? I need to keep available to do things. Uh, Alright, if 
before I make that decision, is there anything else to be done? Economy, we can't do anything about that. Rank up, there's nothing to rank up. So yeah, all we've got is this last thing to do. Now I have two people doing, I have to have them start their project, right? So Reggie has a 70% chance. Now these things, if you use one, they add 25%, but the only way you get more of these is to rank up your, um, your stats here. These things, you've got to rank these up and you got to get to like 20 to rank up the first one. That will make you a two, and then you have to get to like 40 to do a second, and 60 to do a third, so on and so forth. So to get to like 10th level in those things, you need like 200 points of stuff. See, so like here, you would win with a plus three military. So that would take our military up to a nine. Do I want to make sure I... All right, before I go on and do that, what's this? Do I need to use one here for him? Okay, he's just automatically gonna solve it in seven days. So that's gonna happen there. Um, what was the other one? Oh, and he's gonna do some kind of military thing make sure he gets his thing done. So we're going to go ahead and use one of the points there, I guess. And let's go, let's go claim the outskirts, I guess. I guess before I do that, if I click on this, nothing is built in my main town. So if I go into the town, let's see what buildings looks like. Um, I have nothing built. If I do a build, I got a, I got a square nine by nine, and I got something out here, and then I have one up here, and it would cost me. This does gives me a plus one economy upgrade would get my community up, so my economy would go up one. Uh, Windmill, it says. What's a windmill do? <coughs> you have a granary or a brewery. What's a brewery do? Beer, ale, and other fine beverages. Plus one to loyalty when located in a settlement with a windmill. Plus one to stability when located in a... I remember that <coughs> stability is important because if your people go down in stability, you gets harder and harder to do things. It just adds military. What's the longhouse do? Longhouse is like when you upgrade to town halls and stuff. It affects all sorts of things. It gives me plus one and three stats. And then a fourth stat when I go up a level. When I upgrade it. So it would seem that I would need to build a longhouse in the middle. Right, that's the town hall. Um, so I'm, I guess I'm accomplishing th things that need to be built. Um, Goes up to a town. Call Sorry about that. Phone ringing in my ear. Um, smithy, shrine, shop. I'm not sure I should build very much. This looks like it would be good in the long run. Lumber yard. You get plus one to relations if you build a lumber yard and a piers. Not really sure where I should go with this. I think we're going to have to do a little research on what to actually build here. 
<clears throat> we're going to start off with the longhouse, because if I remember right, the longhouse is like, uh, depending on what's adjacent to it and what you have in it and stuff, it makes a difference. And I'm going to do a little research on what I think I should build here and where, you know, what should be adjacent, what can not be adjacent kind of thing. So we're just going to build that for now. So it's to keep my 400 build points, because there's one of those takes 150. So we're going to be happy with that for right now. Because um, this, see, this cost me 150 build points to, to get. And I've got people working on other things. I need to go start their events. So start his event. What's the project I have? I'm going to have him start his project. And then we're going to go claim the outskirts. That should get us close to the time that we have to go deal with the bald top hill. And we'll see what we can do. Val, I guess. All right, let's uh, claim the outskirts. See, it just runs right through this. And I see a whole bunch of events and things popped up that I can't do anything about now. Success, okay. Hey, we just added a bunch of stuff. That's where Oleg's Tavern is, so we just added that. But now we added a whole bunch of events. So this was a triumph with his military parade and proud how strong the has become over the past few months. A lot of volunteers have joined the army. Community plus one, loyalty plus one, military plus one, and stability. Good. I like seeing stability go up. Um, and he was success. First shrine in your capital will be built free of charge. Okay, that's good to know. So when I build this shrine, I don't have to pay for it. Save me some money. Okay. And then there was two weeks, so I spent 150 and I got 64 back. What is this? Uh, base income is zero, plus five from stat ranks. Well, I guess for every one of these ones, I get a point. Uh, no income from regions, I don't know what that is. And then Brevoy hands me 30. Okay. Yeah, because Brevoy's sort of supplementing the gear to begin with. So obviously I have to come up with some way to start making my own build points, So because that Brevoy subsidy is obviously going to go away at some point. Right, so that's gone. Um, counselor awaits. Harem has a request. Okay. Those are my events. What was my projects? Rebuild, pillage, agreement, trade agreement. Can't do anything about that have any rank up, don't have anything I can do in the economy, no training, no curses, no other, no regions. Alright, so I guess we'll go do these two events. Let's go to the throne room and see what happens. We'll be putting a cut in here, so this is going to be just basically kingdom first day. It says, Tristan lowers his head. Greetings, Varen. I'm sorry to take you away from other affairs, but your people need you. Uh-oh. Craven the Stag Lord, the people sigh in relief, but many are still confused by their swift change of fortune. Truth be told, they simply don't know what to think of their new baron or what to expect of you. Will you be a fair ruler for all or only for those of wealth and status? Let us reassure your people, show them where your favor truly rests. Perhaps a small celebration would help to win them over. Of course, you could spend the same amount on a luxurious dinner for the wealthiest of your barons, but I recommend ordering some fair for the common people, the ones upon whose shoulders your power truly rests. Relationship from the Martians. What's this give you? Plus two economy, plus two relations. Okay. I don't care to arrange anything we can do without festivities. I get 20 build points that way. But greedy. We shall hold a fair for the common people. I want them to know that I hold them in closest my esteem. I get community and culture. So I don't get the relations. And I don't get... What is it? Economy relations over community and culture... Why can't one of them give me stability? Well, it sounds like from what he's saying up here in this paragraph that he wants me to go with the uh, close to my heart. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm a I'm a man of the people. I'm a ranger. Right, I'm not a if I was a paladin I'd probably pick this one. Because the nobility is the nobility. I wonder how much that's gonna cost me. Support the counselor's endeavors, okay. Hold a common celebration where everyone will be welcome, including the poor and the downtrodden. This is good, gifts are good as people. Now I've got a support event, okay. Whatever that was. New cutscene. It's gonna be Hari. Here he clears his throat a few times and speaks at last. I heard, not that is important. Well, I heard that an ancient trade road built by the doors of the Five Kings Mountains runs through these lands. I don't know what happened to them or where they went. Unforgiving time spares no one. The road itself is still there, possibly not only the road. Okay. Oh, a phone quest. If you find any dwarven ruins in the area, I'd like to see them with my own eyes. I shouldn't probably, but it's like a wound that's never healed. You know, it will only hurt more, but you still need to scratch it. Of course it's foolish, foolish in vain, but still I wish to look at them. Of course. I'll take you to them. Yes, I only stay on good terms with Hari. He's an unwanted legacy. Okay. Well, now, which one's this? Shrug Dwarf Ruins Room. Jelly Kravit. Okay. Kafkin, your grace, I was at Oleg's trading post recently. Noticed old Woken just standing there, bored to death with nothing to do. It's the most unfortunate. For all the old grumblers are very knowledgeable alchemist. However, he has no use for his skills since the locals need nothing more than the simplest of healing potions. Okay, and then it struck me. Why don't you hire him as your court alchemist? His decoctions and tinctures? God, I don't know how to spell say that word. Would certainly prove most useful to you. Also, it might be cheaper than simply buying from him or some other merchant. Okay, so now I've got another court alchemist. Boken is court alchemist. His potions was talk to Boken. Okay, so I got stuff I need to do. Uh, before we do anything else, let's take a look at Lindsay's journal. A noble welcome. What was this? Oh, that was me. That was me getting my thing. Oh, I need to go talk to this guy. Prove your worth. Uh, Mary wants to kill another critter. Hand of the Technique League. We took care of that. Sour Flow. That's where we need to go meet. We need to go talk to Casey. Unwanted Legacy. Many years ago, the doors built a road. That's for Harim. So those are companion quests. Kingdom quests. Uh, boy, I've got, look at all this stuff I have to do. Did I not give this to her? Yes, I did. Okay. Death to works. I took care of that. Tusk gutter. We took care of that. Find the temple of the elk and mandible jeweler. Yeah, we did all those. Okay, we did all our errands. So we need to go talk to Boken. Uh, we've pulled off, we pulled in one loyal servants. We put some people out there. An ancient curse. It's going to develop in 27 days and 16 hours. I thought it was only 30 days. Maybe it's in 30 days that'll start to manifest itself. How to build a kingdom. Uh, villagers. Council centers. Right. Capital. What is this? Oh, a new building in the capital. Okay. Add the outskirts to the barony. They've announced, of course, they don't exist yet, but on paper at least, it's better than the rundown huts of the monsters room. Okay, so I need to build a village. I need to do a village somewhere in the outskirts. Alright, where am I at on my time? 34 minutes. Alright, I do need to rest as well, because I'm fatigued. Oh, no, I'm not fatigued anymore. This game is so weird. Now I'm not fatigued. 
that's just bizarre. So I need to build a village. Uh, probably going to be... I need to build a village. I need to go talk to Boken. What did I need to do with Journey? What do I need to do next turn? I need to build a village. I need to go talk to Boken. And then we're probably going to have to deal with Bald Hill. Right? So, yeah. And then I'm going to look at... I'm going to look in the wiki some for about building advice and stuff so I don't just build willy-nilly. Try and make some the best of my pluses and things when I'm putting down buildings. Um, I'm not going to just start slapping buildings down all over the place. I'm going to try and make sure I have some sort of long-term plan for them. I did hear that you, sh you can like specialize your cities. Like, have one that makes sure that it puts in all the things that can make uh, relations, and another one that makes all the things that can do, say, stability and or economy and things like that, where you can kind of specialize your, t your villages and your towns and stuff to get you the maximum points available for different areas, and then just sort of work it that way, rather than trying to have everything be a little bit of everything, kind of concentrate on certain things for certain places, so... We'll see how that works. I need to do a little bit of looking up in the um, in the wiki on all of that. Okay. So we're going to drop out of here. I'm going to put in a cut. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like what you see, go ahead and hit the notify, uh, subscribe button and then hit the notify bell. You'll be notified when I upload videos. And or um, uh, schedule streams, I think. Don't I have... So this is that storyteller guy, so I might need to go talk to him next time, too. So, probably going to be running around a little bit. Maybe we'll be able to get to the point where we can go looking for Bald Hill. Since I have to go talk to Boken anyway, I'm thinking I'm going to take a group out, and we'll go see if we can find at least how to get to Bald Hill on the way. And maybe we'll try Tristan out on the road and see how he does. We know how Harim works, a Harem works, so... Um, I do like having Harem because of that, you know, 20 some armor class. And yes, he can cast some spells, but uh, oftentimes it's like cast a couple spells and then help finish off the monsters. I'm not sure that Tristan would be able to do that, but then again, Tristan has a fireball, which means I can start the combats with a big area of effect spell that can, you know, weaken my enemies before I have to deal with them. So we'll see how that works out. I'm going to try Tristan out, I think, a little bit. Okay. All right. So that's it for this session. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.